The community in Greenfield is trying to deal with the deaths of two teenagers killed in a car crash. Investigators are reconstructing the accident. Shelley Walcott has this update from Delafield. Still more questions and answers out here in Delafield today as police try to figure out the circumstances of an accident that killed two teenagers. Patty Coughlin's daughter was friends with the teens who died. It's a great loss for the kids. Early Tuesday, Delafield police were called to a single car crash at the corner of Nagawica Road and Fair Lakes Parkway. 18-year-olds Cody Kepke and Timothy Peters died at the scene. Ian Glidden is in critical condition. You know, she tells me that they were boys that were always fun, always smiling, always made everybody smile. There has been a steady flow of people out here to the accident site. Even one of the first responders stopped by, saying he just had to see the scene of this accident one more time. Investigators are busy reconstructing the accident. And we have investigators that are trying to talk to friends, acquaintances, and that to try to go back over a 24 or 48 hour time period to see where they were before the accident and what led up to it. Arrowhead High School will be offering counseling. The two victims make five students from that school to die within the year. And parents like Patty hope young people will learn from this tragedy so the teenagers' lives weren't in vain. They need to drive carefully. They really do. You know, they're not experienced drivers, and they just, you know, need to just be so careful. And again, the definitive word on what actually caused this accident won't be available until the toxicology reports come in, and that could take several weeks. On your side in Delafield, I'm Shelley Walcott, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Shelley.